I rise today on the bullying aspect of this bill. It's something that uh, in my district we're seeing a lot of and quite frankly we're seeing kids die because of it, taking their own lives after being bullied. And this is the third bill that has some aspect to it that deals with bullying and cyberbullying. And I've sat in my seat silently saying it's, it's not the right time to speak or it's not directly in line with the bill. But today I, I, I felt compelled to just kind of raise a red flag for the kids throughout the state of Indiana who are being bullied and cyberbullied every day because in this body, we talk about it a lot, and we pass legislation that sincerely tries to combat bullying, but we never add teeth to any of it. And this is a good bill, and it's gonna provide good resources to parents who have children at home being bullied. But the reality is our law doesn't permit or allow for there to be teeth when there are situations that really need to be handled. And I know that that worries all of us, and we don't want law enforcement getting involved with our children's disputes, and so it's often defended with, well, these are kids, and, and there's just, they're having problems at school. Ladies and gentlemen of the General Assembly, they're taking their lives. They're killing themselves. And there's legislation offered by Republicans and Democrats that would add teeth to protective orders, that would add protections for these kids by law enforcement to get involved when parents refuse to, when parents are unable to get involved. It's a situation in my district where a young man who had college scholarships was bullied and harassed bullied and harassed and because of our our internet sensation you see when he went home there was no security at home because every day about 245 he would receive a message and then about three o'clock he'd receive a message I've seen these messages folks it never stopped 2 a.m. 2 30 a.m. he continued to receive messages He was bullied and harassed, bullied and harassed, and when his parents, who I, I just, for those of you who think that this affects one, one area of society, both had jobs, were good parents, who made a good living, well over $100,000 a year, when they went to the other parents of this child and tried to work something out, the other parents weren't all that interested said these are kids being kids your kid ought to be tougher the football player he ought to be tougher they did nothing and so these parents who had a kid crying every single night contemplating taking his life went to law enforcement and the reality is our law doesn't allow for prosecutors and for law enforcement around the state to get involved in any real way. And so I'd ask that you support this bill, but that some of you take a look at what we can do in this body in next year and in the sessions to come to add teeth, specifically, in my opinion, needs to be added to the protective order statute, which only allows for family situations and that you bring forward ideas that will actually protect these kids rather than simply posting information for their parents and save lives in this state. Save these kids' lives. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.